people deluded i'm back again now ethan i'm wary for me he's the truth people he's the next haylender up as you could see people i mean it's he's one of arsenal's worst kept secrets we haven't been exposed to seeing him on a consistent basis really beyond the youth team um but this is a man that you know had some record-breaking statistics when he made his debut obviously um against brentford the season before the one that's just gone obviously came off the bench when we demolished west ham and what a goal that was from declan rice against his former club that was a highlight of a season esque in my opinion and you know you've not seen him exposed to proper first team minutes last season this season I expect him to be afforded a lot more and as Mikel Arteta said in his press conference it's down to Ethan you know to the point where Ethan has to play to the level in which you know Arteta can't leave him out and I think he's in the perfect place and one encouraging thing for me with Ethan at Arsenal with him coming through versus when you saw Saka I know he didn't come through Haylem but you know Martinelli technically Smith Rowe and people of that ilk and you know we was like when these players apologies people I've got tongue tied there but when these players came through you know we were a turbulent football club now Ethan, you know, Saka, we were living or dying by his performances and it was just toxic and the team was, you know, it, it was a shambles. Ethan is coming through in a dramatically better team. Obviously, there's a lot of stability. He can develop, in my opinion, similar to Phil Folding in a sense of Arsenal not going to live or die by his performances. It's down to Ethan. As much as I like him and as much as I think he's good and I can understand the fanfare and I can understand when you're seeing Colby Maino, teenager playing for United. We've seen a teenage Cesc Fabregas and technically, if you're a Premier League fan, Wayne Rooney, you're seeing Yal Mao. I think Ethan's got it. I think Ethan's got it all upstairs. I think he's got the, the mindset to play and, and develop and keep his head on the ground. I think he's got the temperament. I think he's got the speed of thought to, to play at a high level. Um, I think technically he's evidently there or you wouldn't be playing for Arsenal Football Club definitely at this level at, at 17 or 18 odd years of age. Now it's just about taking time with him. He's a young player. The first thing is consistency. You know, it again, not to take anything away from Ethan or these young players who have all generally done well. You know, Miles Lewis Skelly has done very good this, this preseason. You know, uh, Young Salah has done well in central midfield. Heaven's done very well. And I think, you know, for him, it might only just be preseason. But you see, when Heuslin turned him and our whole defence and midfield was, was um, at sixes and sevens, you know, because everyone keeps forgetting Heaven was the left sided centre half. Why is he on the right hand side? But sticking with the young lad there, you don't. That doesn't happen to you too many times at under twenty ones football. Yeah, you might occasionally play against a top striker who's not getting first team minutes or re, you know re, having rehab from an injury. But you see against Hoijlin there, you're out of position. You know you showed him onto his left foot. You know you were done by an experienced striker, and that is a good learning curve because he won't forget that, and that's where you have to learn. And his temperament to react to that was superb. Really, mistakes happen, but keeping on brand with Ethan people you know now it's just about consistency it's all fun and games doing it in pre-season if we're playing on a Tuesday and then a Saturday you need to do it and again these are issues any 17 odd years of age is going to have you know he's going to have to learn how to recover physically he's going to have to adapt physically to the demands of the Premier League beyond just being able to hold on to the ball you know he's a he's still growing as a lad you know he's not in his full men's body at this moment he's going to have to get up to speed with what Mikel Arteta demands and I think you know when you've got players like Ethan, they can play there. The difference in the Premier League is how thing, how fast things are happening. And I personally feel, if you look at the Bournemouth game and the Man United game, he's learning that already. I personally think people are overhyping the Bournemouth performance because I actually think he was quite quiet. You know, taking three, four touches where you need to take one or two against Manchester United, the assist, you can't, you know... You can't not down. You can't downplay the assist. It's great that he got an assist, but I'm not impressed by the assist in the sense of it's all the other aspects throughout 90 minutes. I think defensively he was spot on, especially when we started the game slow. I think you know he knew when to take one or two touches. He knew when to venture forward. You know he knew when to keep it simple. He knew that like, he's getting a better understanding with his teammates of where to be. These are the things that you know you want to see with a young player and you know with his abilities to play as a 10 as an 8 out wide with probably Reese Nelson Smith Rowe departing obviously I don't know how many midfielders will sign there's going to be minutes I expect him to you know not necessarily be a main player within Arsenal's first team in the first part of the season you never know because he's got an opportunity at this moment in time to maybe change Mikel Arteta's thinking about how he wants to utilize him next season you know um, and also what he want to do in the transfer market now I don't want to make this video about Mikel Arteta with the young players you know or specifically the hay lenders but for in a day and age where not too many have been afforded debuts i think what charlie patterno has made his debut sago jr's made his debut obviously young ethan's made his debut if arteta is trying to fight for a premier league title and develop a premier league winning side and with what i've just said you've been one of the players that gets minutes 
there's got to be something about you, man. I think Ethan is very decent and I think he's, to, to say the least, I really think he's, he's the truth. And I do expect him to, ex to accelerate his development. And I think Arteta's post-match comments were very encouraging. He's basically saying, I like you, you're here for a reason, you're doing your thing, but now it's down to you. If you want to do this thing, show me in it. And I think now that the fact that it's in a player's court and he's been provided with opportunities, he's going to be lit people. And all the Haylenders, you know, have given a good account of themselves throughout, you know, with the minutes being played. And I'm sure, you know, the young goalies who haven't been afforded opportunities, I'm sure everybody who's been in and around Arsenal's first team, whether it's been training or playing, has given a good account of themselves. You know, in relation to the United game, you know, Martinelli looks sharp considering he's had one training session. I think Gabriel Jesus looks decent. You know, the more minutes we can get into the legs of Timber, the of, of Obviously, the better. I mean, Zinchenko still looks a bit shaky defensively, but it is what it is in that regards, people. So, yeah, in the first two uh, pre-season games, you can't draw too many conclusions, but I think every game is geared at making you a lot better for when the Premier League starts. Obviously, you know, with Gab both Gabriels, Havertz, Trossard, would technically been back, Kivior, um, you know, and soon to be Saka, Ramsdale and obviously Declan Rice when we get back to England. Now we're starting to take shape because we are quite low on numbers or proper significant numbers. So I'm happy with what's going on. And I'm not going to lie, Trossard, I, listen, Trossard, I don't know what you've been doing at the Euros. I don't know what I've seen in the last two cameos from you in pre-season, but I don't care. Once the Premier League season starts, I back you. You're doing your thing. You're the best finisher at the club. Get back to that Trossard we saw at the end of, well, for the second half of last season or generally the whole season but you know what Trossard was on he had a great season so yeah man I think we're stepping in the right direction we're doing what we need to do I still think we need an eight or, or a six better yet let's just say midfielder um, I would love a winger and I think we have to bring in another inside forward and a winger in addition to Califori at the minimum um, you know I've got small hope for a striker, but whether it's because Arsenal are not necessarily convinced, we don't feel there's value for money, we don't feel there's a market opportunity. I personally think we're going to park that off next till next year. But I think I speak for every Arsenal fan where we would say, you know, we could do with another striker. I think we want the best of all the worlds in the sense of Gabriel Jesus gets back to the Gabriel Jesus we all know and love. Kai Havertz continues scoring. You know, Trossard continues scoring. Saka continues scoring. Martinelli, get back to what you're doing. And have a striker that can get us 20 league goals or is a bit more of a proven kind of guy that you could bet your house is going to deliver. So, so far, so good from this American leg of the tour. I think against Manchester United, I think we was... Obviously, it's not our strongest side. I think there was a lot of positives. I think Odegaard was great. I think, you know, when we really turned it on with our... Pre United were good at pressing us as well. But I think when we turned it on with our one and two touch passing, with our playing out from the back, you know, with our build-up play, I think we was quite good, especially after the first 20 minutes, which I think we started quite sluggish. Obviously, penalties is the luck of the draw. I guess we have to do more training in that regard. Um, I do think, you know, in that game, I think... United did a good job pressing us, but I think the midfield with Jorginho, and I can't even remember who played next to him, personally think they could have showed a lot more because it was typically just Ethan, you know, offering an angle in that regards, people. I think Carl Hein looks a lot more comfortable playing out from the back, really, and he's picking a lot of, more so his long-range passing. is some good passes there. So, so far, so good. Minutes are in the legs. Hopefully, we can hit the, the ground running when the Premier League campaign kicks off for us against Wolves. But in relation to the Man United game, Ethan and all the other falling talking points I've said, people um that's all i've got to say you lot let me know your thoughts don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your notification bells and don't forget our last game in america is in the early hours if you're in the united kingdom of thursday people we'll be watching arsenal versus liverpool together watch along settings so let me know your thoughts people hopefully i've created i've sparked the creative juices don't forget to subscribe hit the like button etc most importantly stay safe stay blessed peace <laughs>